One of the most important effects, one of the, I mean, I would say a collateral effect from all these good performances from Vinicius Jr., it is not going to be, I mean, it is not only going to impact in the good results for Real Madrid, it is also that is going to impact in the market price of Vinicius Jr., which is expected to be higher than ever and some people out there still think that the market price of Vinicius Jr. could reach at some point the 100 million euros. As you probably know, Vinicius Jr. is worth now about 45 million according to transfer market. Other sources claim Vinicius Jr. is worth about 70 million, but whether the first one or the second ones, no one, no one is understanding or no one is able to predict so far how much is he going to worth in a matter of months if these good performances from the Brazilian player still go on and continuing with this, you know, trajectory. So my opinion is the same. My opinion is Vinicius Jr. might hit the 100 million euros in a matter of four months if he still plays if he's still playing in this way because it is not a secret that every time you score goals you are one of the most important players uh, you are one of the most outstanding players in your squad of course the first impact it is noticeable in your market price so that way we might see Vinicius Jr. before Christmas in a range of about 90 to 100 million euros uh, transfer market price and now I have to address again to that rumor that insists Ferland Mendy will be out of the squad Ferland Mendy will leave Real Madrid next summer 2022 according to this Italian journalist uh, Rudy Galetti Ferland Mendy is not anymore within the plans of Carlo Ancelotti for Real Madrid and that might push the player away from Los Blancos next summer 2022 and he went beyond that and claimed that Juventus the Dream might be interested in signing the player so this is the news but now I'm going to share with you all my thought my opinion about that over the last two months, Fernandi has been involved in a series of rumors linking him to a possible departure from Real Madrid, which is, in my opinion, not true. Fernandi is very happy in Madrid, and the only thing we have with him is the super bad injury that he got in the last games of La Liga the last season. He went through a very tough recovery process and he's still in he's i mean the other day he was in the squad list just because we need him right but now he's out of the squad list against inter just because he's not 100 percent recovered and that is the only issue that we have with ferlamendi other than that he's happy and we are good with him what i don't know though is carlo ancelotti i mean what is the plan with Carlo Ancelotti with him because he was a player that came in because of Zinedine Zidane not Carlo Ancelotti but other than that I would never say that he will be leaving Real Madrid next year because he still has contract and he's a very good player that he has done that has done a very good job in Real Madrid so far and there's another issue going on right now within Real Madrid and that is because something that happened during the last game against Celta de Vigo. As you probably can remember, Marcelo came in, came into the pitch in the minute 88. I mean, two minutes, only two minutes away for the end of the game. So, and that is something that apparently he didn't like at all. And we could see in his face. I mean, he was kind of confused disappointed, angry, whatever you want to call it, right? Because when you come into the pitch with only two minutes ahead, it's like, man, what is this for? I mean, what is the plan with this? What are you trying to do with this? Getting me in 
with only two minutes ahead. And to make the things worse, we are talking about Marcelo. Marcelo is the captain of Real Madrid for all those of you who don't remember. So you have to show a little bit more respect towards a player who has given his life, his career in Real Madrid. And he has given everything he got every single season for Real Madrid to end in this kind of situation where he is used just for the last minute of the games with any single, with, I mean, no importance at all and in a very disrespectful way. But the problem is when you have players ahead of you that will be the first pick of the coach, that is something that is going to happen very often and we have to get used to it. Because although Marcelo is a is an icon of Real Madrid and Los Madridistas, let me tell you that he is not the first pick of Carlo Ancelotti for this season and even beyond that. So I would say that, believe it or not, you like it or not, we will have to get used to these kind of situations with Marcelo because to me it is something that is going to happen in very often.